Hi there, my name is Amo, and I'm going to quickly show you how to create a scrolling 2D text effect. So to start, I'm just going to add some 2D text to my canvas. So under Categories 2D and then 2D Text, I'm going to edit this to be a little bit longer than that. This is a longer section of text. So the idea is that we want this to scroll on our screen. So to do that, I'm just going to select the text, and I'm going to find at the bottom of its properties the Mods entry. And I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to add this scroll mod here. And once we do, it starts scrolling. So we can control the speed here by setting the speed property. Um, the time that it waits between scrolls can be uh, changed using this interscroll time here. So if I set this to, let's say, two seconds, it should wait two seconds between scrolls. And that takes a little bit of time to kick in here. So then waits one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then it scrolls. Um, so that's useful. The other thing we might want to play with is this scroll count. So if we don't want it to scroll infinitely forever, we can actually assign a value here, like to say only scroll once on screen. So what it basically will happen is once it's done scrolling, it stops. So then to control when it scrolls, we can either activate this action here, the scroll action, and you can connect alerts to this to have it happen in response to an alert. Or we can kind of look at this scroll on drop down here. And this kind of will tell us, this will allow us to kind of have it automatically scroll on, on a variety of different conditions. So by default, it's set to scroll on scene activation, which means that anytime we activate this scene, so if I, I went to scene two now, go back to scene one, that triggers it to start scrolling. If we set this to text change, it will scroll in response to its text changing. So if we go in here and we add an exclamation point to the text, it triggers it to start scrolling. That's particularly useful if we have an alert that's attached to this text property, an alert that provides text data. That will cause it to scroll whenever that alert's text data changes. Um, and so that can be useful uh, in those kind of situations. So that's about it um, with this scroll uh, effect. The other thing to just keep in mind is, um, let's say we have this set to infinite scroll and it kind of scrolls forever. If in this case you want to be able to move it, it kind of is now you can't really move it because it's animating. So to, to be able to move it, just use the active property of scroll to kind of disable the scroll effect, and then you can kind of move it somewhere else, and then you can re-enable the active property. So just keep that in mind um, when it's animating. Use that property to kind of turn it off, stop animation, move it, and then start up the animation again. So hopefully that was um, interesting, and, and I'll uh, see you next time.